All right, let's take a closer look at each one of our individual models that we use for our digestive system. And here again, we have poor splitting headache guy. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bad for him. Yeah. He'll oh, get over it. What can you do? So on this model, you can see really well where like muscles and cartilages are. So you can see the tongue, very big, huge, strong muscle, um, and then the oral cavity with the teeth. The uvula at the back is actually a smooth muscle that's going to cover the nasopharynx. As the bolus passes into the oropharynx, the laryngopharynx, and once it gets here, is it becomes a very unconscious thing. We have to open up the. Um, Superior, yeah, <laughs> superior upper esophageal sphincter. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get one. it eventually. The upper esophageal sphincter is that little red dot. I that wasn't is much right. help. I'm like, no, it's you this weren't. One. You're like, yeah, it's that one. It's okay, a, yeah, yeah. And the esophagus is gonna pass that bolus down using peristalsis into our stomach. So upper, upper esophageal, esophageal sphincter. sphincter. So it is a muscle that's gonna stay closed while we're breathing um, and then open up to allow the bolus to pass down through our esophagus. Esophagus, esophagus is gonna give way to? Yeah, stomach, <laughs> la da. Okay, so the food is going to be coming down through the esophagus, and as it passes through, it has to hit our lower esophageal sphincter. Um, the lower esophageal sphincter will open, allowing the bolus to pass into the stomach. Now, the stomach has three major regions. The fundus, which is fun. It holds all the air when you get to burp. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's fun, fun. And then the body, which is the center portion, and the pyloric region, which is going to be the end portion that will pass food into our next spot. Also on the stomach, we have the lesser curvature, and that's the smaller one, right? And then the greater curvature, which will be the larger one on the outside. And in the, in the middle, you can see all these bumps and grooves. Those are called the rugae. Those are going to help with churning and producing of all the fluids that are in our stomach. So as our stomach churns and beats and beats and churns, it is going to be passing fluid very slowly into the pyloric region and into the small intestines. So if we look right here at the end, there is the pyloric sphincter. So the pyloric sphincter is going to open and close, allowing just a couple milliliters of fluid into our small intestines. So right there into the duodenum, we will pass very acidic, ouch -like stuff coming from the stomach. So we have to neutralize that using some of the stuff coming from the pancreas and the liver behind it. And we will do that in our next